I like my leg because I can be cool and unique. My ankle is now my knee. I would describe my leg, I don't know. <laughs> It's easy to do things with it once you get the hang of it. I'm Aiden, I'm eight years old, and I have a rotation plasty. He was born with proximal focal femur deficiency. They rotated his leg 180 degrees, and so now his leg is the femur and then his ankle and his heel works as the knee joints. And so his actual knee is fused by his hip. But I never knew they turned it around 180 degrees. 180, 180, son. Yep, and this is what we got. We found out that Aiden had congenital femur deficiency when I was about 34 to 35 weeks pregnant. Congenital femur deficiency is a birth defect, and it's when you have a difference in your femurs. It's not genetic. They don't have an answer as to why it happens. It just happens to one out of 100,000 that are born. He was two years old when he had his surgery. Yeah. Do you remember having your leg the other way? Did you remember having it forward? Or no? I seen a picture of it, but no. So this is your, your normal, right? Does it make you um, feel any different? No. <laughs> this is Aiden's first therapy that he ever had um, with his prosthetic leg. Before the surgery. Before surgery. Mm-hmm. So I was one. Mm-hmm. When I saw him at first, I was kind of weirded out because I never seen a boy with, or actually any kid with a backwards leg. And I was so confused and I was only six, so I didn't really know what was going on. I would say it's easy. It's easy to walk and do sports, except you get a lot of blisters. Even with my rotation plasty, I can run faster than most people. I'm really active because of my mom, because she's crazy. It's a fact. Let's get it. All right, pick, pick a body. Pick a body, stick to it. When I play basketball, I feel good because I could beat my dad and other people, like my cousins. Like doesn't really affect him in the ways for emotions or activities that he does because he's very good at all of them because he never gives up. Aiden started playing basketball, really playing basketball when he was five. As a parent, there's always concerns that your kids could get hurt, but we've always raised them not to, not to limit him because of his, his prosthetic leg. If you want to do something, set your mind to it. You practice, and you can, you can achieve anything you want. Where's my basketball? It's outside. Do you want me to bring it for you? No, I'm going to go Why don't you outside. show him your trophies for your basketball Oh, game? okay. My coach gave me this because I played really good. And this is the trophy I got uh, last year from winning my championship. And when I got that trophy, we only lost one game. When I grow up, I want to be an NBA player, like Steph Curry.
I feel like I look at life differently now. Before him, anything that I saw hard, I would complain about. And so living life, through Aiden and seeing him do all the things that he does and he just never complains and he's always smiling and happy and he's an amazing human being. I'm very lucky that I got to experience him. Aiden is very funny. He likes to go swimming a lot, ball wheeling, and he likes to play basketball. He makes it look easy. He really does. As his mom, I see all the hard work that he's had to put in, that for him, it's normal. You know, he doesn't know anything else. If another kid had a rotation plasty, and if he falls, I would tell them to get back up. My rotation plasty does not stop me from doing anything.